What's going on everyone and welcome back. Today we are at Stratford Homes here in Stratford, Wisconsin and we are currently standing inside of one of their beautiful modular homes. So let me get you outside and I'll tell you all about it. All right, so this is the Granite Bay. It is by Stratford Homes and I absolutely love coming out to these regional modular home builders. They do such a great job. And we are standing here in their model center. Boom, look at that one. You got that one gonna be coming up. Super excited about all of these homes here. They do such a great job with them. This one actually is a cool little lake house. Excited about it. But getting back to the Granite Bay, it is a three bedroom, two bath. It's approximately 2,044 square feet. And I love it. The gable right here. So actually this part would be uh, your garage coming out of here. But right now, obviously it's in a model center, but you do have this beautiful shake siding up in the gables as well as these nice gable accents and then you do have LV smart siding going all the way around the home and then up here on the porch kind of a nice vaulted ceiling you got these pretty columns with the stone accents on either side kind of a red board and batten looks really sharp and then this beautiful front door but well, let's go ahead and start working our way around the home. You do have the master bedroom that sits over here on this side with these great, big, beautiful windows. And then if you do get excited about this one, like I am, I will uh, leave the pricing and all the information that you need for it uh, at the end of the video. So stick around for that. Or you can go over to timothypetelivingston.com or Stratford Homes. I'll leave that link for you in the description as well. Man, they did a phenomenal job decorating this home too. I'm super excited about it. Now this is made up of two main modules and then you do have this morning room right here or sunroom, which is a third module. Kind of bumps out, gives this home a little bit of extra space, if you know what I mean. Now the cool thing about Stratford is, again, it's another one of those custom modular home builders. So what you see isn't necessarily what you have to build. You know what I mean? But nice back door coming out of that morning room out here to a little patio you probably put one back here in between those windows too would look really sharp and then coming around to, to the far side this is where your secondary bedrooms are you do have one window coming out of here all right let's go ahead and get up onto the porch which is really really pretty and i just i love the ceiling right here how it kind of vaults up like that but you could definitely put a rocking chair here here and maybe even over there which i think would look pretty sweet and then without further ado look at this door we'll get inside oh man smell a vision engage because it smells amazing in here so before we get started i'm super excited about this Look at this view all the way back through into the morning room. Go ahead and turn it around real quick. Let you check out this beautiful front door. Looks very nice. And then next to that, you got this little bump out that goes out onto the porch, which has these windows in it. But from there, you come into the living room, which is a great big space. Again, with that window lets in a bunch of natural light. And then you have this gigantic tray ceiling and it actually in the tray is 10 foot tall. And I love how it goes all the way up to the wall right there. We'll go ahead and pan you around real quick. Got a nice entertainment center over here. And there's actually something pretty sweet. I'll show it to you once we get into the master bedroom. And you can do it pretty much anywhere. But um, I just thought it was pretty cool. Oh, y'all are going to beat me up if I don't show you this real quick. So right as you do come through the front door... You do have a coat closet right here. And then from there, you have a pocket door with access into your utility slash mudroom slash drop zone with access into the garage. But we're gonna wrap around to that in just a little bit. From the living room, you come into this gorgeous kitchen. Nice kind of one third semi-circle island thing. <laughs> looks pretty cool though and i'm going to show you one of my favorite parts in this is coming up in just a second i like the the end uh kind of shelving but i love these like beadboard drawers right here very nice very big they are soft clothes and then you do have some more 
shelving over here with these beautiful pendant lights. Now in here, where the tray ceiling was 10 foot, it drops down to nine foot here, but still nice and tall. And then on this side of the island, you do have space for several seats. Behind that, we have our refrigerator, beautiful countertops with the undermount stainless sink looking out of your two back windows. Does have nice crank out windows, but I love this. Check out this for the backsplash. Nice beadboard that runs all the way down and it matches the counter or the, the drawers right here on the island. I think it's pretty neat. But then you do have your dishwasher right here. Let's get into open up a few of them. So the, the drawers are, again, soft clothes. You have a stainless dishwasher right here. And then just plenty of cabinets. And then you do have a pantry. Now, one thing I love about this, and I'm so glad it was pointed out to me. So you see this little button right here? Boop, boop, boop. It's automatic light. So whenever the door is shut, the light goes off. Whenever the door is open, the light comes on. How cool is that? Thought it was pretty nifty. And then, uh, the beadboard carries on as far as backsplash over here. You do have your uh, stove with the built-in microwave. And then finally, some more cabinets down here towards the end. Now, let's go ahead and go this way because it's beautiful anyway. Yes, this is the house that it has. So this is the master bedroom. Absolutely gorgeous. You do have uh, two great big windows looking out towards the front of the home in here. And you do have this transom window sitting up over the top of the bed. And oh my goodness, you all wait until you see this shower. This thing is nice. Like, oh my goodness. Anyway, so you do have this box right here for your TV uh, or whatever the case may be. Um, and I love it because you can do a wall mounted TV, but you can put it anywhere. So if you wanted to kind of mount the TV a little bit higher, you can do that and still hide those cords and everything. So that is something that can go anywhere. And I just thought it was pretty neat. That's something I wanted to show you guys. And then right off of the master bedroom, of course you do have this beautiful walk-in closet. You have attic access in here just above the door and then plenty of shelves. You've got a nice little shoe rack down here and then just plenty of shelving all the way around. And then you do have a nice pocket door and you'll find pocket doors throughout this home, um, separating different rooms, such as this one right here, which is the master bathroom. Again, that nice pocket door right there. Beautiful double vanity, got the pennant lights, another transom window, some cabinets, nice wood shelves in there. And then, Ooh, look at this shower. Look at the, the tile work and everything going around it. Let's get in here and check it out. So you do have tile surround going all the way up to the ceiling. I don't know, that's, I walked in here and I just kept staring at it. You got the tile shower tray as well. It's like a nice brass kind of drain. Love it. Another crank out window right here. And then back behind us, you do have the toilet. And again, if you do want a tub, I know there are some tub lovers out there. Uh, it's definitely doable. Like I said, custom. So you can come in here and bump some things out, add a nice tub. And there's actually one of these homes that we're gonna be going through has an absolutely amazing clawfoot tub you guys are gonna have to check out. So. Uh, I don't know when that one's going to come up, but I'm pretty excited about it. Right off of the kitchen, you do have your dining room. Beautiful table. You have a nice light fixture over the top of that. And then on the opposite side, there is plenty of space to put a nice hutch or... Uh, I always want to say credenza, I guess. But I don't know if that's... I guess a credenza. Does that go in like a bedroom? Not real sure on that. But anyway, enough of that. And then here at the back of the house, again, you do have this 
uh, additional sunroom, which is beautiful. You got the vaulted ceilings, plenty of windows in here. And again, you can put a door anywhere if you wanted a nice porch. Um, how cool would it be to have like a wraparound porch out here on the back of this? You put a door right here in the middle leading out to it. I think it looked pretty good. But from there, we'll start working our way down the hallway. Now this door right here, uh, it is locked. And of course, we're this would be the stairway down to your basement. But this one doesn't have a basement right now. That's just what it would be. And then the hallway leading down to the rest of your bedrooms, you do have a nice storage closet here in the hallway. And then a great big wide uh, second bathroom. You got your vanity lights right there. Beautiful countertops and plenty of counter space. You got your sink. More drawers, you have your toilet. Another crank out window. And another big shower, fancy shower head. And then I love this, check this out. This is like floating shelves that kind of match all the rest of the wood going throughout the home. And then across the hall from that, another pocket door right here. And this is the sweetest, sweetest uh, laundry room I've ever seen. So you do have washer and dryer hookups right here back there so you can see it a little bit. And then next to that, you do have some nice cubby holes. And I, again, I love how they decorate it. So you just kind of have an idea of where everything goes. And then back behind us, you have even more counter space, which is pretty neat. And then look at this cool thing. So this is a, it's like a drying rack, just kind of, it can fold up and then it drops down pretty neat. And it sits right over the top of the sink. I think that's pretty cool. And then towards the back, you do have these nice cubbies right here with plenty of cabinets, nice little bench at the bottom. And then opposite that, like, this is like a little drop counter type thing, which is pretty neat. You can hang up your keys over here. You got a little whiteboard so you can write little love notes back and forth to each other. Got a little mailbox sliders in here. And then again, some more soft closed drawers. And then you have a pocket door right here that separates uh, the laundry slash utility room from the rest of the house. And then this door would of course lead out into your two car garage. Right now it's set up as kind of a little design center, but this is where that would be up towards the front of the home. And then coming back out towards the hallway, and hanging a left, you come to the two secondary bedrooms back here. This one sits towards the back of the home. Nice window in here. And then this is your closet. Of course, you can have bifold doors if you wanted them, or you can have these pullouts or sliders. That's probably the hardest thing to convey through video, because I know a lot of, we're all guilty of it. What you see is what you get. But if we think beyond that, you know what I mean? And visualize the things that we want in the home. Nine times out of 10, it's doable. You know what I mean? So just because I show it to you, doesn't necessarily mean that it has to come with the home. And that's kind of the cool thing about mods. But anyway, this is the third final bedroom sitting towards the front slash side of the home. Uh, you do have a window looking out towards the side of the home over here. And then again, you do have some more doors with a nice step-in closet. All right, so let me know what you think about this home down in the comments. If you want any more information on this model or Stratford Homes, I'll leave that information for you in the description, as well as over at timothyplivingston.com, where you can search for this floor plan, as well as all the floor plans that we've toured across the country, and you can see if they're built in your area. As far as the price for this home, it starts at approximately $450,000. Of course, that may or may not be the price that you pay if you decide to make this home yours. Anyway, just keep that in mind. Prices are always subject to change. With all that being said, my name is Timothy. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see your beautiful face in the next one.